Hi there everyone, welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. For this tutorial I want to show you an easy way to cast your hand uh, using alginate as well as some plaster of Paris. You will also need a container so your hand can fit in nicely um, as well as some water, a bowl for mixing your plaster of Paris as well as later on you're also going to need a knife for cutting out your cast out of the alginate. Okay, so now I'm going to start by making the mold for your final cast. Um, I'm going to start by adding a little bit of water into the container. Um, the container should also be the perfect size for hand to fit in, like I said before. And um, this is just so uh, you can have your perfect pose of your hand um, and not waste too much alginate. I'm going to start by adding the alginate and then I'm going to mix it very thoroughly um, so you have like a putty, a, a, a soft putty kind of feel for your final mold and then I'm going to insert my hand I'm also um, then I'm just going to leave my hand there for about five minutes so it can set and then I'll remove my hand And before you add your hand or put your hand into the alginate, um, you should just make sure um, about the pose that you want to use before you insert there. So this is more or less the kind of texture that I like for my alginate. I don't like it to be too uh, sloppy, but stiffer. Um, yes. So as soon as you have mixed it thoroughly. Uh, you can add your hand, which I'm going to do just now. So now I'm going to insert my hand and I'm going to leave it for about five minutes or whatever till it's set and then I will show you how to remove the hand out of the alginate. Okay, so now I have to remove my hand. The alginate is starting to get loose around the edges of my hand can feel it's already set. Um, now you just move your hand so all the air can get into the spaces um, so your hand will start feeling loose and you can just like pull it out. Ugh. Might be a bit hard but there you go. So this is the final mold for my uh, final cast of my hand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some plaster of Paris to pour into the mold that I've created out of the alginate. I'm going to start by adding some plaster of Paris. I think enough for the mold. You want to fold the entire hand. So rather mix uh, too much and too little. And then I'm just going to, I want my plaster of Paris a bit uh, fluid. So it can uh, mix into all the areas of the hand, into the fingers and everywhere. Now I've mixed some plaster of Paris. I'm going to pour this plaster of Paris into my mold that I created. Uh, from the alginate. Just make sure it's in. You can just tap it a bit so all the air bubbles can come out. And also, you want the plaster of Paris to go into all the little spaces in your cast.
Okay, like that. Just fill it up to the top. And I'm going to leave it to dry. Okay, so the alginate and the plaster of Paris have set. And now the next step and final step would be to remove the alginate from the plaster of Paris. I'm going to start off by removing the alginate from the uh, container so you only have your final alginate cast uh, your alginate as well as your plaster press cast then I'm going to start by cutting away the alginate from the plaster of Paris You will see there is some little imperfections, air bubbles and so on uh, in your final cast. Uh, you can just uh, patch that up using uh, plaster of Paris and then they have it, your final cast. 